to be able to print to a printer, you must load a driver in Windows to be able to use it. And that driver process really has to match. You have to be able to pick the right driver and have it exactly match the printer. Notice that, for instance, there's a difference between an HP LaserJet 8100 series PCL and a HP LaserJet 8100 series PCL6 and a series PS. So notice those are the same model number, but three different printer languages that are used between those. And you have to make sure that the driver that you choose matches what's on the printer, or else you are absolutely not going to get what you have coming out of that printer. It will be nothing of what you're expecting. So that's incredibly important. This is, at the very basic level, the language that your computer uses to communicate properly to that printer. And if they're talking a different language, neither one of them is going to be able to understand each other. They're also inside of this printer configuration is a determination of, are there printer trays in this printer? And how many printer trays are there? And what are they numbered, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? What colors, if any, does this printer support? Or is it black and white only? And if it supports colors, what type of color support is there? Are there fonts built into the printer? There's local fonts in the printer. You'll find your printouts go a lot faster if it's able to take advantage of those. If there are not local fonts in the printer, you may not have many options available. You need to find out what those might be, and a number of other options as well. Additional capabilities that are specific to certain printer models will all be contained in the driver. So you can start to see now why it's so important that those match. And if you're having odd things happening, one of the first things you may want to do is go to your printer driver configuration there and look to see exactly what happens to be the configuration there and make sure that it matches up. To look at the printer driver that's installed on this machine, we'll go to our Start menu. I can go to the Control Panel and go to Printers, or I can simply choose this Printer and Faxes option. And you can see I have a number of printers installed here. This is the Apple Color LaserWriter 12600 that I currently have offline so I can show you those print jobs. And I can look at more details of this if I right mouse click and choose Properties. This is where all the specifics are. So the reason that this system knows that this supports color and that it's not double-sided, it does not staple, it does 12 pages per minute, and it supports 600 dots per inch of resolution comes directly from that printer driver. If I was using the wrong printer driver, all that information would probably be incorrect. If I go to the Device Settings tab, you can really see the details behind this printer driver, the types of trays, the font substitution tables, exactly how it operates when printing PostScript. Are there any installable options? How much memory is inside this device? You'll be able to see all of that in here. And you want to be sure that what's in your printer device settings really matches up with what this driver is saying. And as long as everything is matching, you're probably not going to have a problem. If anything is different or you're noticing that some things aren't quite right, you may want to consider either making sure the driver matches the printer or upgrading the printer driver. Occasionally, that may be a fix for what you're trying to do. And as long as everything matches up, you're probably going to be fine. But that should be your first troubleshooting effort when trying to determine when your output doesn't quite look right. Let's find out if our printer driver is even configured correctly. Here's a really good example of this. I put two device settings tabs right next to each other, one on an Epson LaserWriter 1000 and another for an HP LaserJet 8150. And by putting these side by side, you can really tell the dramatic differences between these two different kinds of printers. Many different options for the trays, difference in the number of slots available for font cartridges, the installable options here are very different than what's on the LaserJet 8150. So obviously, we want to be sure our drivers are correct. And if that's correct, then everything should match up fine. If you've got your driver correct, your spooler's working properly, and you're still getting gobbledygook coming out of your printer, it's just not looking quite right, or you, it's unreadable completely, you may want to test and make sure that the printer itself is operating properly. It may not be that we're sending bad information. It may be that the printer is just not capable of printing it properly. If you can run a Windows printer test page, it's a very generic way to send a test page off to the printer and make sure that it's able to recreate this information right here is what you should see coming out of the printer. So it's a good way to check and see, is Windows sending and getting the information to the printer properly? And that way, you can take the application out of the equation. Your printer itself may have a test function built into it, which even removes the computer completely from the equation. So you can run a couple of test pages there, one from the Windows operating system, one from the printer itself, and really see if it's printing the way you would expect it to print. 
To print a Windows test page, pretty simple. We can go back to our printers and faxes. I'll right mouse click here and choose the properties for this printer. And right on this main general tab, right down here at the bottom is a print test page. And if you click that button, it says a test page is now being sent. The test page shows the information that we just saw. And if it printed successfully, you can click OK. If not, there's a built-in troubleshooting tool that can step you through some different options that may help you troubleshoot the problem. Let's see if we can answer some questions about troubleshooting our printers. Our first question is, what is the easiest way to reset the print spooler? I think we've already done that in this module, and that was to go to the print spooler service. You can stop it. You can start it. There's also a button there just to reset it completely. It stops it and starts it with one mouse click. Another question, what's the best way to confirm that the Windows printing process is working properly? If we want to test that from Windows, then we should probably be using the Windows printer test page. And our last question, how can you be sure that your print job is going to print from the correct printer tray? And the best way to tell is to go directly to the properties of the printer and determine if the correct printer tray is selected. Well, that covers what we need to know for our troubleshooting printing, section 2.3 from our 22701. We now know how to manage print jobs. We can use the print spooler. We've looked at our printer properties and our settings, and we've printed a test page. If you'd like to watch many more free A-plus videos, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.